in this video we revisited this uh, definition of normal subgroup the definition of normal subgroup is a subgroup H of a group G so we are talking about a subgroup of a group G a subgroup H of a group G is called normal subgroup of G if the left cosets are equal to the right cosets if a H equals H A for all A in G and we usually we denote this by this triangle H normal subgroup of G okay uh, let us say G is the the set of integers so integers under addition okay I'm going to take a subgroup let us say the multiples of 3 so multiples of 3 under addition to clearly H is a subgroup of G because the multiples of 3 under addition are a subgroup of the integers okay now we are going to test if this subgroup is a normal subgroup if the multiples of 3 under addition are a normal subgroup the left cosets will be equal to the right cosets okay so the operation is addition, right? So we take 3z, uh, so this will be 0, 3, 6, 9, etc., plus and minus. Okay, so th this is the set of the multiples of 3. So let us take first the left cosets 0 plus 3 the multiples of 3 so 0 plus 0 will be 0 0 plus 3 will be 3 0 plus 6 will be 6 0 plus 9 will be 9 etc so 0 minus 3 will, it will be minus so basically it's the same set what about 1 plus the multiples of 3 1 plus 0 will be 1 1 plus 3 will be 4 1 plus 6 will be 7 1 um, wait a sec um, here uh, the other elements will be for instance 1 minus 3 it will be uh, minus 2 1 minus 6 it will be minus 5 so I, I cannot put a, a plus and minus here okay 1 minus 9 it will be minus 8 etc okay what about 2 plus the multiples of 3 2 plus 0 will be 2 2 plus 3 will be 5 2 plus 6 will be 8 2 plus 9 will be 11 now other elements will be 2 minus 3 it will be minus 1 2 um, minus 6 it 
it will be minus 4, right? Minus 7, 2, minus 9, it will be minus 7, etc. Okay? And basically these are the, um, the three left cosets, right, of the multiples of 3. Because it is pointless to do now 4, sorry, not 4, um, 3 plus 3, that 3 plus 0 will be 3, th uh, 3 plus 3 will be 6, and basically you are going to get the same set as 0 plus 3, plus the, the, the multiples of, of, um, of 3. Okay, so these three are the left cosets of the multiples of 3, right? Where, so this, the left cosets, the operation here is addition. These are the left cosets. Okay, let us do the right coset. So, the multiples of 3 plus right addition. So, we will get 0, 0 plus 0, that will be 0. Right, so I'll put 0 here. Now, uh, right addition, right? So, I'll get 3, 3 plus plus 0 th 3 plus 0 equals 3 so I'm going to get 3 here and then 6 plus 0 it will be 6 9 and then it will be the same for the, the negative numbers too okay so we can say that you see the set that we got here is exactly the same as it is here. So the left coset equals the right coset. Okay. And what about 3z plus 1. So the first element we get z 0. We add 1, we get 1, we get 3, we add, we write add 1, we get 4, we get 6, we write add 1, and we get 7. So basically we are getting the same elements here 1, 4, 7. Uh, let us say. For instance, minus 3, minus 3, we write add 1 and we get minus 2, exactly as we got here. So basically, we will get this set to right? So this will be the right equal to the, the right coset, okay? So this left coset equals this right coset, and this left coset equals this right coset. I think it's not hard to see now that this left coset will be equal to this right uh, right coset. I'm, I'm not writing it. Sorry. <coughs> uh, like this. This right coset. Okay. So basically left cosets all left cosets are equal to the right cosets okay so we can say that h we knew that h is a subgroup of g but now we can say since the left cosets are equal to the right cosets that h is a normal subgroup of G. So A operation H, where H is a subgroup, equals H operation A.